Curtis, and welcome to the Memorial Rundown, where we bring you the latest highlights from Memorial Healthcare System. This week, Memorial Transplant Institute publicly announced its first kidney transplant with a press conference that earned the media's attention across the globe. Media outlets from as far as Washington, D.C. and the United Kingdom showcased the love story of how Cesar Calle donated his kidney to his wife, Monica. I saw Florida couples proving to be a perfect match in more ways than one. Hey, it sounds like a movie, right, Eric and Shelley? Good morning to the both of you. Now, Monica Calle says she was looking for the past two and a half years for a match for a kidney transplant. And what she didn't realize is that for the past 23 years, that match has been next to her all along. The Institute is the only one of its kind in Broward County and one of only two programs in South Florida to offer kidney and heart transplants to both children and adults. Match Day! The excitement was felt throughout Memorial Healthcare System as administrators with the new graduate medical education program announced the first class of Memorial residents who will be coming to train with us later this year. I think Memorial did amazingly well in this year's match. Also, a congratulatory shout out to the Tour de Broward. There were more than 8,000 participants in this year's annual event that benefits Joe DiMaggio Children's Hospital. The event raised $551,000 to help expand facilities and services at the pediatric hospital. $51,223 thanks to a and our sponsors, and to everyone who's come out to support this amazing event the children and the families at Joe DiMaggio Children's Hospital. Thank you, everyone.